Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture super source, 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio, 43617 419 6097. www.jccomicsandmore.com. JC's Comics and More at hotmail.com. Uh, this is Tuesday the 15th. Got the big 35th anniversary sale starting. This Saturday, which we're giving away free comic book day comics also, but something special for my regulars tomorrow. And we'll be sending out a special email through jccomicsandmore.com also later today. So if you read my emails, you get an unfair advantage. If you watch this, you get an unfair advantage. But some of my regulars that I know probably, uh, they're getting their stuff tomorrow and Really don't, not uh, you know, not going to take advantage of the sales or anything, and just rather than come back for the free comics, you guys that come in tomorrow for your for your new comics, you can go ahead and let me know, and I'll go ahead and pull some comics out for you. Here we've got this this dark one from Vault, that's part of it. You've got Chapter uh, Chapter House, Captain Beyond, and Captain Captain Battle. You've got the Tick. Archie, Betty and Veronica in Riverdale. You've got Stranger Things, Minecraft. You've got Power Rangers. You've got Horizon Zero Dawn from Titan. You've got Dark Arc Instinct from Aftershock. Invincible from Image. Bloodshot from Valiant. You've got an X Men comic from Marvel. You've got My Little Pony. Uh, from IDW, I know who that's for. That's for Mr. Mr. Shop Walgreens. That's for Mr. Shop Walgreens. He knows that's for him. He's waiting with bated Beth for that. You've got a Spider-Man. You've got an Asterix comic. Oops, there's another Captain Beyond. You've got Jeffrey Brown's Only a Matter of Space and Time. You've got The Resistance from Opshot. We've got a uh, 2000 AD with Judge Dredd. We've got a little Lulu. Uh, we've got a Walt Disney. And got some other ones as well. But uh, you guys stop in tomorrow and say, Hey, can I have some free comics? Since this is New Comics Wednesday, I'll go ahead and pull some out because they're, they'll be behind the counter. But uh, I'm going to pause this, and then we're going to get to open up the merch boxes. Okay, first up, from Funko, Godzilla Tokyo Clash Game. Let's see what we have here. Get yourself a Godzilla game that you can play. Oh, look, my invoice is in here, too. My invoice, invoice was not indicated on the box. How great that was. Must come with reduced hours. But here's Godzilla Tokyo Clash. He picks up a bus and he throws it back down, or a subway train as it might be. We got that woman screaming there as the flames are going to engulf her. Look at all this great stuff that you can get. Four massive miniatures. Look at that. There's somebody you don't see every day. Wow. Wow. You know, Megalon. Boy, it'd be nice to see an actual Megalon action figure, wouldn't it? But you got uh, Tokyo, four monster card decks, and the uh, 13 buildings to smash and destroy. So we've got that. Got a few of those available. Now, we'll see what's in this box here. Gone through and cut everything open just to make it a little bit easier for me. NFL season started this past week. There's winners and there were losers. My team was a loser, unfortunately. Um, his team, JJ Jot, JJ Watt was a loser. He was a loser uh, to this man here, Patrick Mahomes the second. Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, MVP of the league a couple of years ago. They started off and they're on their, their, uh, their return. Here we've got Derrick Henry. He was a winner last night. So Derrick was a Henry. 
or Derek was a winner. Derek's a Henry, and he was a winner. George Kittle, loser for the 69 49ers. Got Lamar Jackson, he was a winner against the always hapless Browns. Browns started off like they everybody knows they're going to be losers, unfortunately. For the Brown players, fans around here. No, no, no fun in Brown Town. So we've got another Lamar. Let's see. We've got another one of these Godzillas, Tokyo SS SOSs. Back in stock. Can't have too many NECA Godzilla figures. We've got Ghostface Scream. Somebody's been asking for this. Somebody's been asking me for this, so here you go. It's in. Let's see what this... Oh, yeah! I guess we'll have these for this weekend also. Uh, cat one masks. Got some different cat one masks. That's based on the, the Jim Ballot Catwoman. There you go, the Darren Cook Catwoman. That's the current Catwoman. There's animated series Catwoman. Yeah, let's see what else is in here. I'm sure, some sort of some sort of joke. Ah, uh, there he is. Here we've got, I think that's Neil Adams, Dick Giordano, Catwoman. There's the animated series, Joker. If I said Catwoman, I meant Joker. There's the Joker. There's Frank Miller, Joker. Sort of kind of looks like uh, Mick, uh, Mick Jagger, Joker. There's the New 52 Joker, where he's got the dead skin mask on. So I think those are the four different jokers. See, there's four jokers. Yeah, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the uh, the shocking revelation that for three jokers, it's not three jokers, it's four jokers. And unfortunately, you gotta poke the joker's eye out to wear these. So here you go, here's an extra joker eye. So you have to poke his eyes out. So we've got those. I haven't quite decided how I'm giving those away yet. All right, let me uh, pause this quickly. These uh, artwork was all by Brian uh, Sook, and I have to apologize. Uh, that's based on Neil Adams, not by Jim Ballant. Jim Ballant got the uh, uh, got disrespected and got left out. And let's see here, this is the War Machine Deluxe figure. So we got the war, Deluxe War Machine in this week. Get all of his power and shooting and blowing stuff up. There you go, look at him. He can go to town, man. He's just, he's a war machine. I'm surprised Kiss didn't sue Marvel for that. But as always, if you do enjoy these videos as always please 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 subscribe we're getting closer to 1500 I'd like to bust that 1500 been doing this for almost three years would like to get to 2000 by the end of the year but please subscribe please uh, like the video comment on the video if you think these masks are cool if your retailer is getting these masks uh, and what did, you, what did you guys think of the free comic book day comics for this year i'm sure probably People in other areas probably got their comics each week. We decided to hold off until the 35th anniversary. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching.